Today we're going to be talking about programming of the BTX wall switch with the BTX motors. This programming for this five channel wall switch, we also have a two channel version of this as well, and it's the same programming, just different button pushes. This will work for the BTX 25QE, the BTX 25QE RF, the BTX 45QE RF, the BTX 45QE RF lithium ion battery, and the BTX DC RF motors. So, this particular unit is an accessory. It doesn't have some of the programming buttons that you get with the BTX remotes. We have our six channel remote, which is in our previous video. And we have a one channel remote that's in our previous video. To set limits and to set this motors up, you need to have one of these motors, one of these transmitters originally to set up first. Once you set up with this, then you can work with the wall switch. So what we've done is we have this particular unit, six channel for a setting, and we went ahead and we paired it we went into programming mode, we set limits, and we exit a pairing mode. And this unit will work this unit on channel number one, for instance. Okay? We have an open limit and we have a closed limit. Okay? So this thing's set up and ready to go. Now, if you want to add a remote control wall switch to it, which is this wall switch here, it's a five channel. You basically are going to choose the channel you would like to operate this particular unit on by hitting the button. So, for example, channel one here, it's going to light up. Okay, and then you're going to hit open and close on the unit to pair it. Before you pair this particular unit, you must put this particular motor into a pairing mode. And that needs to be done with the original six channel or one channel remote. So here we go. Since this was working on channel one, you're going to hold the stop button down with a fast flash until the motor jogs. Now the motor is in pairing mode. You would choose your wall switch, the channel you'd like it to be on. Channel one, the light's going to go on, and you're going to hold open and close these bottom two buttons at the same time with a slow flash. And now, if we test it, it will work on channel number one. Now, you can add another channel. Let's say I want it to work on channel number five as well. You light up channel number five, and you hit open and close at the same time with a slow flash until the motor jogs. And that will work on one, and it will work on number five there. And if I light up number one, it works on number one. The other thing you could do with this unit is you could actually delete a channel off. So for example, if you didn't mean to put it on five, you can choose number five on here. And to delete the channel, you are going to hit the stop and open button. So stop and open are here. Hold those down, slow flash. Oh, gotta make sure you get the slow flash on this. Stop and open. It jogs. And now if I light up number five and try to run it, it will not run that particular unit. It stays in this mode, just this pairing mode, for about two minutes. The motor will jog eventually and that'll be, it'll go out of pairing mode. Now, you also can take this and delete the whole motor. And by deleting the whole motor, you would hit stop and close at the same time. And that will clear out the motor, it'll clear out the remote, it'll clear everything out of that particular unit. And just like on this unit, if you hold the stop button down, once you've got this pair, if you hold the stop button down here for five seconds, you then can add other devices as well to it. Now remember, it stays in pairing mode for two minutes. So after that two minutes, holding the stop button down will then jog the motor and allow you to pair it. If you have any questions, you can always call us at 800-422-8839 or visit our website at btxinc.com. There will be a link to the video and also the programming at the bottom of this. Thank you.